it is no secret that I'm a huge fan of Surrey Alpaca. This is my favorite fiber because it is just cloudy lusciousness in yarn form. I mean, look how fluffy this is. So my obsession with Melted Baby Surrey Alpaca occurred when Chink Fiber came out with this yarn, the Melted Baby Surrey. It is just a little kitten in skein form. It's composed of 65% baby surrey alpaca, 20% merino wool, 15% silk, and there's 175 meters per 50 grams. So it's kind of similar to a sport weight yarn, and it looks like a fluffy blob of fibers in the skein, like this. And you look at it and you go, what do I make with it? Well, I have a few ideas for you. Um, it looks very different once you wind it up. So here you can really see that cloudy, soft texture. And I love mixing it with wool yarns. Like here on the table, this is the bubble shawl. And I used a wool yarn and a Surrey alpaca yarn alternating. So wool, alpaca, wool, alpaca. So you can mix this yarn really nicely with fingering weight merino yarns. And it just really blooms and blossoms as you knit with it. So what I love about this fiber in particular that Ching Fiber dyes is there are these painterly, splashy, melted, gorgeous colors, but she also packs a punch with these semi-solids. So these give you a big impact in your shawls because you get this very vivid contrast with those solid tones. So some of the colors I have here are Biscuit. This is a really golden, um, orangey gold colorway. This is probably my favorite color of all time. Oh wait, I just lied. No, it's this one. This has to be my favorite. <laughs> this is the Hero colorway, and I got to name this colorway with Ching Fiber when she first developed it. I needed this electric, crazy royal blue, and Layla dyed this up, and we called it Hero. We have the Peachy colorway, Stun, Lightning, Firaha is the most intense red with an orange tone to it. And then some other standouts, Okanami. No, this is Deep Sea. Deep Sea Blue is this colorway. There's another darker color. This is Okanami. This one's a bit more navy toned. There's a lot of blues. Ink, so many colorways. <laughs> you gotta try them all. This is just a little collectible fiber that you just gotta get a skein or two, and then you can stripe it with your other colors. This is Foxglove. It is an intense fuchsia magenta combination. So the bubble shawl is a really fun pattern to mix some single skeins of this Melted Baby Surrey together with wool. And I also love to brioche. Look at this. This is the Flying Foxtail shawl. The Flying Foxtail wrap, actually. This is the rectangular wrap of Flying Foxtail. And I used the Yak Silk on the top. You could also use a single ply merino for the main color. And then look at that, those fluffy stitches and brioche. I love using Ching Fiber's Melted Baby Surrey as the background color for brioche because it gives this voluminous body to the fabric. It's not too, um, it's not too weak. It's not too drapey. It has some nice cloudy substance to the fabric. And then those Surrey alpaca stitches peak from the background. So the flying foxtail wrap, this uses four skeins of the same color. It uses four skeins for the background and two skeins of fingering weight merino or yak or whatever you have for the front. Two skeins for the front and then four skeins of the Surrey for the back. So that's the flying foxtail wrap. And here's another stash busting shawl called Triangle Gram. This combines the Melted Baby Surrey for some accent color blocks along with some fingering weight yarns. So for this kind of project, you can pull some single skeins you have and then accent them with some of the Surrey colors as you build a splashy, clashy color palette. So Triangle Gram is knit from the center out, and it's really addicting with those small sections. 
so it's ideal for using up those leftover yarn bits and single skeins of yarn for triangle gram. If you want a, just a little taste of the Surrey alpaca, I would recommend the Texture Time shawl. This is another West Knit shawl that only uses one color of Surrey alpaca. I used the peachy colorway in my original sample. You need two skeins of your Surrey alpaca from Ching Fiber, and that's going to become these squiggles, these short row squiggles in section two of the shawl. And you're also going to see that Surrey alpaca in the bubble border of texture time. So if you're looking for something really adventurous and to give you a little bit of a challenge and keep your mind busy, the Texture Time shawl is filled with lots of fun techniques, yarn overs, these Latvian braids, short row squiggles, and a touch of texture. So one more shawl for you brioche lovers. This is another big brioche wrap that uses the Melted Baby Surrey together with fingering weight wool. So this is very similar to the Flying Foxtail Wrap, where you have a smooth merino or yak yarn for the foreground and the Melted Baby Surrey for the back. This is the Okanami colorway and the Sea Breeze colorway for the background. So again, you'll need two skeins for the front, two skeins of wool, and four skeins of the Surrey for the background color. But it doesn't get much better than brioche and Surrey. It's a really good combination. It's a very elegant stitch pattern and a very textural fiber. So I can't wait to see what you make with all of this Ching fiber yarn. We have a lot in stock at Stephen and Penelope. So you can collect your favorite colors and whether you add them to a stash busting project like the jig shawl puzzle here. This one's marled where you're holding one strand of Surrey alpaca together with a strand of fingering weight wool. So always two strands held together for this jig shawl puzzle. So this one's a great stash buster so you can collect a few skeins pick some of your favorite colors that you see from Ching Fiber, and then mix them up with your stash, and then you have this really unique textural collage of speckles, semi-solids, alpaca, and wool. So can't wait to see what you make. You'll find all these colors at stephenandpenelope.com, and you can share all your projects on Instagram with hashtag WestNits.